Racial discrimination is a part of America that is hidden in plain sight. It's felt on a daily basis by millions of Americans. And in one instance today, it was felt by a public individual and documented in a very public setting. Former CNN anchor and current BET host T.J. Holmes was driving near his Atlanta home this morning when he was pulled over, unaware of any wrongdoing. He kept a running account of the traffic stop on Twitter. Driving while black ain't no joke, he wrote. Later, he updated, officer's reason for pulling me over? Wanted to make sure you have insurance on the car. I kid you not. Let's turn to T.J. Holmes, the host of BET's upcoming show, Don't Sleep, which launches on October the 1st. T.J., welcome to the show. Hey, good evening. Good to see you, Dyson. Didn't expect to uh, be talking to you like this and uh, kind of a, a reluctant guest in some ways. I, I didn't expect to be here just documenting my experience, which I know, as you mentioned, so many other young men went through probably just today. Well, that's all right, my friend. I appreciate you uh, as a very public uh, person coming on here to explain this because yeah. millions of people around the world watch you and we want you to help us understand this. So explain what happened during your traffic stop today. Well, I literally was 1.5 miles from my driveway. Um, the officer had been following me for a, a, at least a mile, maybe even a couple, and he was following closely. Uh, I knew something was up. I anticipated his lights coming on. Sure enough, they did. I pulled over and do what I always do, which some people find crazy. I stick my arms out the window and cross my hands like this so that the officer sees my hands. Right. That's just something uh, literally You do my that because you're a black man. Do. You yeah, want him to think that you have a gun or yes. anything. All right. There you go. I don't want that officer nervous when he walks up to the door. Mm -hmm. um, and sure enough, the only thing he asked for, and I asked specifically several times, why was I stopped? And he said, I want to make sure you have insurance on the car. He even asked me for a bill of sale for the car. Now, what kind of car is it? Tell I, us what I kind of car going it is. Well, you know what? A couple things on that. Um, I purposely didn't say what kind of car it was because right. I didn't think it should matter. If I was in a right. 2012 BMW or 89 Pinto, it shouldn't matter. Right. But uh, the, the, the other part of that is that what, really, what difference does it make what kind of car that Absolutely. I was in? So, so I purposely didn't put that out. I might talk about that later, but right now I didn't think it should matter. But, uh, but I went on with him, and he wasn't uh, rude or anything necessarily, um, but he didn't have a reason for pulling me over. And I was. I was frustrated at the time. Dyson, and, and, and I, I tweeted about it, and I was frustrated at the time. But then all day today, I have wondered if maybe I made a mistake and if I did something wrong by inflaming people's emotions. Because by using that phrase driving while black and putting that out immediately. There were two sides clearly polarized on the issue. One side, uh, mothers, uh, fathers, young black men and, and who have gone through this experience or had someone go through it. Right. And then another side that called me a racist. The N-word's been thrown around today, been called other names wow. saying, there you go, using the race card. And this, you talk about post-racial uh, post uh, uh, country. Well, we can't have a conversation about race ever because this is the, it happens every single time. We go to our corners, we come out, we fight for, for a round, beat the crap out of each other, and go back to our corners and get ready to fight again, and nothing ever gets done. We've got 30 seconds left. You're an expert at this. You're a journalist. Yeah. In 30 seconds, what's, huh? what's the nub of the matter? What do we learn from this? What we learn is, is hopefully, and the reason I'm talking to you today is because there was another young man that got stopped today that didn't have several attorneys in his, his contact list that he could call. He didn't have an attorney that he could go to and, and say, hey, I'd like to file a complaint, which I did do today with that police department. But I want to start this conversation, continue this conversation, put a face and a name on it, make it real. I'm not naming the officer. I'm not naming the police department just yet because I want to go to them and try to make an improvement in my local community before I just put them on blast. So hope, hopefully uh, having this conversation, putting my name and face on it, uh, gets it out there and makes it more real to some people. But, but honestly, right. Dyson, it happened to a lot of people who are not going to have a voice. TJ Truth and Justice Holmes, thank you so much, my friend. That's The Ed Show. I'm Michael Eric Dyson, in for Ed Schultz.